This video is entirely got to do with the top plates and bottom plates. So this is option number one. Use a standard two by six for the bottom plate. Two two by sixes for the top plate. Bare naked T-stud in the middle. Option number two, use the bare naked T-stud for that bottom plate. You can use two top plates, but the top one has to be here for a two by six for fire blocking. But obviously in this case, what you end up needing to do is, you see how this flange, the, the depth of this flange is two and a half inches. So you'll need to have a four inch nail or a four inch screw to run through here. And you'll have to cut this one off and you'll need to cut that one off in order to be able to make this assembly work. Okay, so a little bit extra work, but Obviously, being able to put uh, foam down there to have for air sealing to fill in those gaps is pretty fun. Okay. Next option. This is coming, but I have to do a flame spread test uh, before you're allowed to do it. So, same deal. Bare naked T-stud on the bottom. Still got to cut your flange to make that work. This is a 99.2% complete thermal break continuous insulation. So... A fun, fun wall assembly right there. Option number three, we just got approved. Uh, this will be in the technical evaluation report. Two by six on the top plate for fire blocking. And we, what we got approval for yesterday was to go ahead and cut that flange, cut the flange off that extra inch so that this is straight across. We have to sell it to you as a T-stud and we have to have number two material here, but you can cut this off in the field in order to be able to do this. Same thing for the top plate, uh, you know, standard stud lengths, three and a half inch nails the whole way around. Yes, you have to do a little bit of work at ripping that off, but then you have your pieces here if you want to uh, use it in order to fill in your windows and doors right here. So your flange that you put your window up against, this sticks out one inch farther than your spline. So you could take those rips and just nail a rip all the way around in order to fur that out so that you can set your window and have a little bit more space for your trim. Casing does fit three eighths to a half inch on this for a standard uh, three or two and three eighths inch uh, casing so and then um, back to this wall assembly we just got approved for right now yes you are well you always have to there's not enough load you put your roof truss floor truss on here you're parallel to grain calculations you just lost that whole center span so I believe that you're going to have to use a two by six for that top plate in order to be able to carry that load then you have even distribution all the way across so that's option number four. So you have four ways to pull it off to get your worst case scenario uh, down here. 90, 95.5% continuous insulation on that route and all the way up to 99.2. And this is 98-ish uh, continuous insulation, complete thermal break through that wall assembly. This is Brian Iverson, I'm the T-Stud guy, and that's your top plate update for today.